What's up? I know what you're thinking, right? He's not in a fucking noisy piece of shit van. Well, I did the normal vlog in in the van on my way down to work tonight, and it decided that it didn't want to uh, record for some reason. It recorded about 50 seconds of a vlog, which was basically just the intro. So I'm taking this time during a break at work just to do a little update. I'm going to try to record on the way home tonight, but it's normally pretty dark, so I'm not sure what the uh, what the lighting situation will be like. Um, I'll give it a try. If it works, sweet. I'll publish it with this. Um, if it doesn't work, we'll just have to deal with this one until next week when I get the time to do the vlog again. But seriously, check this shit out. Like, right? How good is that for an office for the night? I get to sit like, you can't really see it. Right up the top there, that little building. There's a little window overlooking this fucking, this beach. It's pretty epic. So it's much better scenery than the van is anyway. So, we'll see. Maybe we'll get the vlog out tonight if the lighting's good. All right, guys. Maybe there'll be more after this. Maybe I'll see you next week. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Well, I guess the lighting turned out to be all right for it. So welcome to the uh, welcome to the nighttime vlog. The first thing I want to talk about tonight is the future of this channel. When I first started up the channel, it was designed for me to strictly release PvP videos whilst playing a rogue. Since then, since the channel has progressed a little bit, I've leveled my uh, my warrior up to 85 and I've been playing and releasing a lot of videos about PvPing with him. And I've realised that playing a warrior is incredibly fun. Um, so for the time being at least, I think Voltaire is going to be the primary focus of the channel. Um, I played Discreto for a little bit the other night and it was fun, but I don't think it would be translating as well um, into video form. And that's really what I want to be doing at the moment. I want to be spending the time I play WoW trying to capture some good footage to get some good videos out there and... <coughs> excuse me. Excuse me. Fuck you! I'll cough if I want. Sorry, guy. Yeah, so I want to get some good footage and get some good videos out there and try and get a few more subscribers, get a bit bigger viewer base going on. Stuck at around, the, I think it's 69 subscribers at the moment. So I want to try and get a few more. Um, I'll be updating my computer relatively soon. I'll be getting a new hard drive, going up to Windows 7. Yes, I still have XP. And getting a bit more RAM, which might allow me to start streaming which is something that I'm really interested in starting. But of course, if I'm going to be streaming, I want people to be watching it. So, I'm going to want to get a few more subscribers, a few more people who are interested in, uh, in what I'm doing before I start that endeavor. Um, at the moment, I'm happy with where everything is going with the channel. It's growing at a steady rate. It's not exploding, which is a pretty good thing, I think. The trouble you can have, in my opinion, when you have a YouTube channel that just explodes overnight is you go from zero subscribers to, say, three or four thousand subscribers in a short period of time. You're not really going to know what to do with yourself. I mean, obviously you're doing something right to begin with, but I feel that steady growth is better in the long run because you get to know your community a little bit better and you get to interact more with the fans without being fans. Fans of the videos, I guess, would be a good way to put it. You get to interact with them in the comments and the feedback to the videos, and even in-game sometimes, which is pretty cool. I've been getting, I had a couple of whispers the other day um, whilst doing a BG from people who had actually seen some of the footage and they liked it, so that put a smile on my face when I got those. But 
yeah, those are the thoughts at the moment. So, if you guys have any ideas for what you want to see come from this channel, please let me know. Pop some comments down the bottom of this video. <coughs> also, guys, to help the channel grow a little bit, remember to share it with your friends, let people know what's going on, give them the link. If you know anyone at all who might like the videos that I'm making, share it with them. It can't hurt. And if you're watching this vlog somehow and you aren't subscribed, just click the subscription button. I'll have an annotation probably floating about here. So just press that button. It helps me out. And the more subscribers and viewer base that I get, obviously the more confident I'm going to become in the production of videos. So I'm starting to learn the intricacies of um, Sony Vegas as well. It's a fairly easy to use program to do the basics, to chop pieces of footage together and chuck music and voiceovers in. But when you start going into like transitions and fades and zooms and all that sort of stuff, it can get a little bit complicated, but I'm starting to figure it out, which is good. So hopefully the, um, the quality of the editing in my videos will... Um, I fucking hate this van. We'll start to improve relatively soon. I've got some footage at the moment. That's a big ass truck. I've got some footage at the moment. Just of a few um, fun BGs I did with some mates the other night. And I've got the Skype calls from when we were doing them as well. We had a lot of fun the other night. And we got some good footage out of it. So I don't know exactly when I'll release them. I'm going to try to put a few of them. I think I've got four. I'll probably try to put one or two together tonight and maybe start the release when I go to sleep. Now because of my uh, restrictions with the internet, it, it's not the easiest thing in the world to up upload a video. My internet... Where I live, it's the best internet that I can get. I have 200 gigabytes a month, which isn't a problem. I can upload fucking quite a few movies with that and still do the normal stuff I do on the internet. It's the speed that's the trouble. My average upload speed to YouTube with everything unlocked, no firewalls on, is about, if I'm lucky, 100 kilobytes a second. Now, when you're, <coughs> when you're talking 100 kilobytes, Sure, it's not that bad, but when you're talking of a movie that's between one to three gigabytes, depending on the size of the, obviously the length of the movie and all the encoding of the audio and whatnot that I've got to get into it. So, I'll be able to do a few of those, but it's just, I have to stagger the release. I can't just say, hey, here's four new videos and release them overnight. Get up in the morning and have them ready to go. So... That's my biggest restriction at the moment when it comes to YouTube. I'm having, I'm having an absolute blast making these videos for you guys because you seem to be liking them, most of you. The trolls, you know who you are. So most people that are liking the videos are leaving positive feedback, they're giving me a thumbs up. And a lot of you have even subscribed to the channel, which is fucking fantastic. It really is a good feeling when you get a new subscriber or even a new comment or just a thumbs up. It makes doing YouTube videos worthwhile. It's my main motivation is to express myself. So if I'm doing something in a game and I think it's funny or I think it could be entertaining for some people, I'll release it. Not everyone might like it. <coughs> That's just the way shit happens. So, if I release a video that you don't like, feel free to comment about it saying why you don't like it. Don't be a dickhead. Don't write, you are shit, go and die. Or stupid shit like that. So, if you, if you don't like a video I'm doing, leave some creative criticism. Constructive criticism, maybe. I have no problem reading that sort of stuff. And to be honest, I don't really mind reading the troll comments either. I think they're quite funny. Um, I haven't actually received any troll comments since I released the Klimba and Bajira tribute. That was the last time I received any troll comment. Other than that, all the comments have been good. So, I'm pretty happy with everything at the moment. I will keep you guys informed with the vlogs on 
obviously if you're watching this then you know about my vlogs I tend to talk absolute garbage for between 5 to 15 minutes depending on how much garbage I can dribble out and keep you guys uh, keep you guys watching so thank you very much for listening to my shit for a little time now also you may have noticed that the vlog wasn't released on Wednesday like they normally are the reason for that is ease for me basically when I was releasing them on a Wednesday I was recording them on the way to work that trip takes about 20 minutes or so tonight when I'm recording it's Friday now I travel about an hour to an hour and 15 depending on traffic and conditions and whatnot so it gives me a bit more time to actually stick the camera up up on its mount aka the rear view mirror and just talk so what I will be doing down the track aka next week hopefully if the fucking thing decides to work properly during the day so I get a little bit better lighting than having to use the in-car light I'll just set the camera up when I leave the house and it'll just run the entire time that I'm driving and I'll just chop out the parts where I'm not saying anything or listening to the, to the radio or singing along in my own little world. I'm going to try and keep it relatively brief tonight, uh, being obviously that it is night time and if I turn this light off inside, you can't see me. It's a little bit difficult to drive with it on, but I'm managing perfectly safely. So I think that about wraps it up tonight, guys. Also, as you may have noticed in the corn, had a haircut a shave, what can I say, but once again, I'm going to pop this invitation out there, if you are on Dark Sphere, come and PvP with me anytime, I'm more than happy to have more people running groups with us, it makes it easier for us to win, it makes it easier for us to smash out points, and if you're on another server, feel free to um, create a level 1 on Dark Sphere, and um, log on and just whisper me and I'll start a cross realm PG with you guys. It's not a problem at all. And, and, this is the biggest thing. If you are interested in taking a relatively decently geared, i.e. full honor gear and some cata gear, arms warrior into a low rated RBG, leave a comment down below. I know most people, when they take a warrior into an RPG, they want him as prot, but I don't like playing prot for PvP. It's not fun standing in a flag room. I want to be out cutting shit with my fucking two-handed sword. So if you want to take a arms warrior with you, once again, leave a comment. Wish me in game. Do anything. I don't care. Get me in. Alright, so I'll probably call this a vlog, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share the channel. Thumb it up. This video, that is. And comment. And subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. Radio. Right